Hello everybody and welcome to this video about overclocking on an Asus Crosshair V Formula Z. On my rig I'm using a FX8350 which currently it's at uh, 4 GHz. Today we're going to be overclocking it to 4.8 GHz. First off I recommend you add in the extra 4 pin uh, uh, to your motherboard. Um, this will enable you to get higher voltages, making it safer and just making it more stable in general. So once you've got that installed and turned on your computer, mash F2 and you'll eventually get to this screen here. Uh, so this is your BIOS. Um, this is everything that can tweak your computer. So we're going first off, we're going to go down to CPU ratio. You want to type in 24. That's going to be 24 times 200. So that's up here. You can see it says 4,800 megahertz, which is 4.8 gigahertz. If you want to tune up your memory, uh, currently mine's at 1.3 gigahertz, although it's capable of 1.8. So I'm just going to go down, flip back to 1.8. So that's all good. You don't need to worry about changing the voltage if you're going for 1.8. If you're going for something like 2.6 or 3, you might need to change your voltage for your memory, but not for 1.8. Now we're going to go down to uh, this, you want to change this to manual mode, scroll down a bit further and you'll see your CPU manual voltage, you want to change this from auto, type in 1.50, or 1.5, and press down, it will turn up in red because that's quite a high voltage, but it really doesn't matter because we might be lowering it a bit later, um, depending on stability, etc. Okay, going back up, we're we'll going to D plus power control, press enter to get into there. We want to press the CPU load line calibration, change this to ultra high. Okay, so we exit out of that by pressing escape, over to advance, and now CPU config. We want to change cool and quiet to always disabled. Um, that will just make the CPU uh, just a bit more stable rather than trying to be a bit cooler it's gonna just overclock do what it wants really okay now we go to C1E and make sure this is disabled okay so that is pretty much it um, we're gonna go just take a quick temperature monitor mine's at 33 degrees that's quite hot considering I have an H100i attached to it uh, I'm going to go over to exit now, save changes and reset, and press enter, yes. Now the your computer will restart, should go off for a few seconds, and then turn back on. It will load to the post page, where you mashed F2 earlier, and then Windows should boot up. Here we are on our Windows homepage. If we download a program called CPUZ and open it up, there we go. We can see uh, our voltages and our core speed. So if I zoom in here, you can see it focuses. The core voltage is at, of course, sorry, core speed. 4816 megahertz which is 4.8 gigahertz multiplier 24 which we set uh, if we're going over to memory we can see that's not really doing much um, at the moment so that's why it's at such a low speed but uh, it will eventually get out to the speed that we set after you've done that you're going to want to run a stress test just to make sure that it's stable and everything like that so you can download a free trial of IDA64 Extreme, uh, runs out after 30 days or so. Click here, stress CPU, click start, and that will set your load to 100%. And you can see your temperatures here, just to make sure the CPU is not getting too hot, um, see if it crashes, all that, etc. Um, see if the voltage is not enough, you can change that in the BIOS. But after I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so, you can go back to your voltage, you can actually turn it down, um, so I think on stable I got mine to 1.49 volts, uh, it's not a big change but it, it will help, um, it will just make your CPU that little bit 
lasts that little bit longer. So there we are, we've been running for about a minute or so now. Um, on the left here we can see that it's around 43 degrees. All cores are fully up. As if I zoom in. There you go, all cores are fully loaded. Which is quite amazing, 44 degrees with an FX8350. Um, yeah, you might want to consider changing your thermal paste every six months because overclocking definitely will affect it. Um, if I go over to the right now, you can see the speed of it. It's 4.8 gigahertz, and that is stable overclock. So, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see the video where I explain my whole computer, just click the top right now. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe, see you later.